16 Most Asked Hypermesh Interview Questions and Answers Question 1. What is Hypermesh, and what is its primary purpose in the field of engineering? Answer. Hypermesh is a pre-processing software used in finite element analysis and computational fluid dynamics CFD simulations. Its primary purpose is to create finite element models from CAD geometry. Question 2. Explain the key features and capabilities of Hypermesh. Answer. Hypermesh offers meshing, geometry editing, and model assembly tools. It can handle complex geometries, automate meshing, and has a wide range of solver interfaces. Question 3. What are the different types of elements that can be generated using Hypermesh, and when would you use each type? Answer. Hypermesh can generate elements such as tetrahedra, hexahedra, shells, and beams. The choice depends on the simulation requirements, accuracy, and computational resources. Question 4. How does Hypermesh handle CAD data? Explain the CAD import and cleanup process. Answer. Hypermesh can import CAD data in various formats. It offers tools to clean up CAD geometry, such as removing small features or gaps, to prepare it for meshing. Question 5. What is meshing, and why is it essential in finite element analysis? Answer. Meshing involves dividing the geometry into small elements. It's crucial because the accuracy of fee simulations depends on the quality of the mesh. Question 6. Describe the advantages of using Hypermesh as automatic meshing features. Answer. Hypermesh's automatic meshing can save time and ensure consistent mesh quality, especially for complex geometries. Question 7. How does Hypermesh handle boundary conditions and loads in the model setup process? Answer. In Hypermesh, you can apply boundary conditions and loads by defining constraints and load collectors on the model. Question 8. Explain the process of model assembly in Hypermesh. What tools are available for this task? Answer. Model assembly in Hypermesh involves combining multiple components into a single model. Tools like the Assembly Browser and Contact Manager help with this process. Question 9. Discuss the importance of checking the quality of the generated mesh. What are some common mesh quality metrics? Answer. Checking mesh quality is crucial to ensure simulation accuracy. Common mesh quality metrics include aspect ratio, skewness, and element size variation. Question 10. Can you briefly explain the process of exporting a hypermesh model to a solver for analysis? Answer. To export a hypermesh model to a solver, you typically create an input file in the format supported by the chosen solver. This file contains the mesh, boundary conditions, and loads defined in Hypermesh. Question 11. What are the different meshing algorithms available in Hypermesh, and how do you choose the appropriate one for a specific simulation? Answer. Hypermesh offers various meshing algorithms like Tetra, hexa, and triangular for shells. The choice depends on the geometry, simulation type, and desired mesh quality. Question 12. Explain the concept of geometry cleanup in Hypermesh. What types of issues can arise in CAD data that require cleanup? Answer. Geometry cleanup involves fixing issues like gaps, overlaps, and small features in CAD data to ensure a clean and accurate representation for meshing. Question 13. In fee simulations, what role does material assignment play, and how is it done in hypermesh? Answer. 
Material assignment defines the properties of materials used in the simulation. In hypermesh, you can assign materials to components or groups of elements. Question 14. What are contact surfaces in Phi, and how does hypermesh handle contact definitions between different components or parts? Question 15. Discuss the importance of element size control in meshing. How can you optimize element size in hypermesh for accurate simulations? Answer. Element size control is crucial for mesh refinement in areas of interest. In hypermesh, you can use sizing options and adaptivity to optimize element size. Question 16. Can you explain the process of defining and applying boundary conditions in hypermesh, including constraints and loads? Answer. In hypermesh, you can define boundary conditions by specifying constraints, e.g., fixing nodes and loads, e.g., applying forces or pressures on the model's components or surfaces. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel, giving it a thumbs up leaving a comment with your thoughts or questions, and sharing it with your friends. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content like this.